Hello and welcome to another video and this time I'm going to update another video that I made about five years ago on how to create a race in Fantasy Grounds and that one was obviously made for Classic. We now have Unity, five years have passed, lots of new features have been added so it's high time to revisit uh, that particular video. Uh, so we're looking at races, so we will open up our uh, races uh, list here. We've got the player's handbook open, so all the races that are in there are already listed. Uh, and I'm going to show you two methods, a kind of longish way and uh, an easier way. But we'll, let's start with the longish way first, because it, it, uh, this brings out a lot of uh, different things that you need to do in order to get your race to function properly. Uh, so we're going to click on the uh, green plus icon here to uh, get the race dialog up. And if you watch the previous video in classes, you'll be kind of familiar with this because it's a similar idea. You've got a main tab here and you've got another tab. The main tab is basically just descriptive text and the other tab is where all the uh, action takes place. So let's do the uh, main tab first. So we're going to call our race uh, a Scotsman. Uh, for fun um, and then we can just uh, put any text that we like in here we don't need to worry about what this is because fantasy grounds isn't really going to do anything uh, with this part of the uh, uh, the template so i'm just going to paste some text in here uh, scotsman's a pale skin northern race which have left out in the sun too long uh, will melt and you can put anything you, you like in here uh, uh, all sorts of uh, formatted text um, so, for example, if we wanted to uh, add in uh, like a, an image uh, onto this, if we wanted to link an image, uh, then we can uh, do so. Um, and if you wanted to include tables or any kind of formatted text, uh, then on you go. All you need to do is look at one of the uh, existing races from the player's handbook, for example, and it gives you an idea of what you can uh, include in there. But as I say, Fantasy Grounds doesn't do anything with this. It's really just uh, descriptive text. Where we want to be is in the other tab. And this is where we're going to add in all the traits for uh, our race. Um, we simply click on the green button. Uh, this will give you a new line. You can click on this uh, uh, red dragon icon or whatever link you've got, depending on the uh, theme that you've got running. Um, and it, we get a dialog box into which we can uh, type uh, our text. Um, so we're going to start with uh, ability score increase. Uh, um, now there are, there's a few things which are common to just about every race and that's things like ability score increase, their uh, size or speed uh, and uh, languages and that kind of thing. So these are things which you would uh, always almost always include uh, in a race and then you would have maybe one or two uh, unique features for the race. So at the ability score increase here, now if you word this correctly, then Fantasy Grounds will pick up the wording and they will automatically pop up choice boxes for you. So we're going to use the uh, wording that's um, kind of in Tasha's uh, cauldron of everything. And it basically allows you to uh, pick uh, any one uh, uh, ability score and increase it by two and then uh, pick any other uh, ability score and increase it by one. Uh, so that's how the text goes. One ability score of your choice increases by two and one other ability score of your choice increases by one. So stick to that wording and you will get the correct uh, choice box when we uh, drag this into the uh, character sheet. Uh, so that's our ability score increase. We can close that and we see that that's now been added uh, as a trait to our race. Uh, so let's add in another uh, ability and again the uh, green button uh, open up the uh, link here and this one uh, we'll call size and again we've pasted we've got some text to paste in for uh, quickness uh, and that's all you need uh, your size is medium uh, your size is small your size is large whatever you don't need anything else you can have lots of other text in here as long as you've got a sentence in there uh, which says that uh, your size uh, is medium, large, small, whatever. Uh, and that's another one. And then we can go on to uh, the next one. And this one will be speed. 
and we can copy some text again and again that is all you need your walking speed is x feet um, now you can have more text as i say than this as long as you have a sentence in there that's somewhere that says your walking speed is uh, x x feet uh, and fantasy grounds will pick that up and will automatically enter it into uh, your character sheet and let's do one more like this if we can also if you wanted to you can just uh, type in uh, here um, and we can then copy some text in and if you follow that you can speak read and write common and one other language of your choice the fantasy grounds will pick this up the wizard the character wizard will pick this up it won't get picked up if you use drag and drop uh, but the character wizard should pick this up um, and it should give you the the choice of a, a language it should pop up the the languages that are available um, but if you drag and drop then i think i don't think it, it will uh, pop up a, a language choice box in that instance um, okay so these are kind of the basic uh, sort of ones that you uh, we would like you can also have things like a creature type if um, you've got uh, a creature type or whatever all sorts of things that you can put in here and basically you just uh, click on the green button and uh, add them in and we'll add in uh, one more uh, trait here uh, let's call it kilted uh, and then we'll just paste in some text so while we're wearing a kilt with nothing underneath, you have advantage on attack rolls against creatures whose wisdom score is greater than 15. Uh, so that's just a, a trait which is outside the kind of normal size and speed and languages and that sort of stuff that you would uh, normally expect. And there's one other thing that we might have, and that is we might have a subrace. There might be subraces of uh, Scotsman. So we can add that in as an item as well. We just uh, do the same thing. Uh, and we'll just call this subrace and uh, we just can again any text that we like uh, it doesn't really matter as long as we've got this uh, subrace trait to tell fantasy grounds that subraces exist uh, for this uh, particular race now um, some of you might have noticed in uh, previous uh, previously that there would have been another section in here uh, for subraces where we would have uh, completed or we would have added the subraces however that's now changed and if we look at the top of the uh, races list here we've got a new button uh, for subraces uh, subraces have been completely removed from the actual race themselves uh, it's a, a new uh, thing altogether and if we click this we get another list uh, which includes all of the sub races that we've got obviously we have none at the moment and we just uh, fill this in or add this in in the same way as we did with this we've got our green uh, button here to add an item uh, we've got this uh, called in here uh, a new sub race uh, so let's call this one uh, the sunburnt uh, Scotsman uh, and we can uh, again give this text that this first page is uh, as the same as we've seen before is just for descriptive text we don't need to worry about what goes in here uh, all the action is in the other tab and the first thing we've got to do is tell uh, the fantasy grounds what uh, the race this sub race belongs to so it obviously uh, belongs to the uh, Scotsman uh, race so we just type that in there in the race box and then we just add traits in the same way as we added the traits to the main race uh, so let's say uh, this one's called uh, too much sun and we've got uh, some text again that we can copy and paste so we have disadvantage on constitution saving throws whilst we're in sunshine uh, and that's our first trait and we just carry on adding uh, any more traits that we uh, want uh, so this one is uh, oh yes I wanted to show you this um, ability score increases are not limited to the main race you can have ability score increases in the uh, sub race as well so uh, in this instance what we're going to do is we're going to uh, give this sub race uh, 
a bonus to their uh, charisma score and if you keep the wording as it is there your charisma score increases by one and fantasy grounds will automatically pick that up and add a one into your uh, charisma uh, in the uh, character sheet uh, so you're not limited to ability score increases uh, just in the main race you can you can add it in uh, here uh, as well so that's our first uh, sub race for our, our scotsman uh, let's create another one uh, and we do the same thing and this one's going to be a sun creamed scotsman and again we have got uh, some descriptive text uh, in the first page which we'll copy and paste uh, we've got too much text there there we go and again we are going to go to the second tab and uh, we're going to tell it that this uh, sub race uh, belongs to the Scotsman race uh, and then we're just going to add uh, a couple of items uh, this one's called sun cream and if we spend uh, an hour in a countryside environment uh, searching around and then make a nature check then we find enough ingredients to prepare a pint of uh, sunscreen and that's one ability that this sub race has i will add one more uh, and uh, this will be protected and because we are always covered in sunscreen um, we've got advantage on checks to escape uh, a grapple because our body's covered in sunscreen so we're a bit slippery uh, so that's basically it then um, we've got our race and we uh, have our sub race uh, we've got our two uh, sub races here and we've got the uh, uh, main tab we've got our picture we've got everything all set up so we just need to uh, test so let's uh, just close that down uh, we'll go and we'll create a character of course we've um, closed our races like the idiot we are uh, and here's our Scotsman here so we just drag this in now, I'm not going to do uh, you can obviously use the uh, character wizard for this but I'm not going to do that because I need to do other things with the character wizard so this is quicker so we're asked to here to choose one ability to increase by two so let's pick strength uh, asked again to choose one ability to increase by one so we know the strength is now gone from the list let's pick dexterity and now we're getting uh, asked to choose our uh, sub race uh, so let's choose the uh, sunscreened one uh, and uh, all the stuff that we uh, got in there gets added in so if we have a look at our abilities tab we've got our uh, kilted and we've got the uh, a protected uh, thing from the uh, sub race and we've got the uh, sunscreen uh, from the uh, so I'm making the uh, uh, sunscreen stuff and th there's a language is here yes it shows you common and choice but if you're using the character wizard you would get a pop-up there to give you the other uh, choices uh, now I'll just very quickly show you the uh, other uh, option uh, take in the race again and just uh, oh no we'll just pick one here one here uh, and uh, we this time we'll take the sunburnt one uh, and you'll see that our charisma score has gone up by 11 we chose strength and con for our two and one and the charisma score has also gone up by one you can also see things like the speed has gone in there as well and you'll also notice now that there are two links uh, next to the race the first is to the race itself and the second is to the uh, sub race so uh, both these uh, links will lead you to uh, whatever uh, race or sub race that you have uh, chosen and you can see also that the race name here has changed to sunburnt scotsman rather than just being scotsman um, so as I say the sub races are now split up from the uh, main races so if uh, you wanted to have a sub race for a dwarf for example then you could simply uh, just create that in here and in fact um, if we were to change one of these let's say we were to change this one here and go into here and unlock this again and just change this race here to dwarf uh, and close that off and if we now 
uh, created uh, a dwarf character. I pick that up and we've now got Hill Dwarf, Mountain Dwarf and Sunburn Scotsman as options for our sub race for the dwarf. So you no longer need to create the whole race in order to uh, create. If all you want to do is add a sub race, you don't need to create the whole race over again and uh, re-add the uh, sub race. So adding a sub race now to an existing race is a doddle. So um, I showed you this uh, method of creating the uh, races uh, because it illustrated lots of different points. Um, but there is now another way of uh, creating a race or at least getting a race into uh, Fantasy Grounds. And if you look at the races uh, list here, we've got a little uh, blue uh, tab there, a little blue button here, which says import text. If we click on that, uh, we've got uh, an import race window. And this is going to allow you to import um, a race from anywhere you like. Now the race that I've got here, I did this in Notepad and you can see how I've laid all this out. So we've got our heading, um, we've got descriptive text and then we have got a heading Scotsman traits and then each of the ability scores uh, or each of the uh, traits uh, are listed individually. They uh, have a title which ends in a full stop. There's uh, lines of text and then we have another word size speed it all goes in there we have sub race choose a sub race and then we have the name of the sub race now the the, the name of the sub race must include uh, this so we can't have uh, a different we've got to have scotsman in it so sunburn scotsman and sunscreen scotsman we've got to know that because fantasy grounds will pick up on this or the importer will pick up on this and create these two sub races for us and then the sub races themselves have got the same kind of idea some descriptive text and then the features ending in a full stop and all we need to do is copy this uh, text just select it all and copy it um, and then we can just simply paste it into our uh, import window click the import window button and it has created it for us so you can uh, this is our uh, sub race here sun sun creamed our sunburnt scotsman and this is our race as well it's added the sub races in it's linked them all everything's all there you go to the other tab all the information is in there uh, these tabs here the other tabs all the information is in there so that's the easier way to get us a, a, a race uh, into uh, Fantasy Grounds Unity. Uh, you can't import a sub race just like that. Uh, you can only in, uh, import a, a race itself along with its uh, sub races. So uh, up to you how you uh, do that. So that's uh, races. That's how to create races in the new version of Fantasy Grounds Unity. The update for all of this stuff uh, just came out a couple of days ago. Um, so it was uh, worth doing this video. So anyway, um, before we get too long into the uh, video, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.